The story of Autumn, the boxer mix who turned up on a Utica street 40 pounds underweight and in terrible shape in September, was one of a host of cases of animal abuse and neglect that triggered this, a packed meeting house on the campus of Mohawk Valley Community College. Animal advocacy experience. The Animal League Defense Fund says New York has some of the most lax laws when it comes to protecting animals. Many of the laws that deal with animal abuse right now are in the agricultural markets law. Some of these laws are over 50 years old. Uh, what we'd like to see happen is have these laws moved over to the penal law, which police officers and judges and district attorneys are more familiar with. So when there is a case of animal abuse, the proper penalty is applied to that person. Advocates for change say current laws just don't do enough. People can get more trouble for stealing something from a store than they can for killing an animal intentionally. So, and that's one that kind of struck a nerve. I'm like, how foolish is that? That our laws are not designed better to address something like that. These laws have to be stricter. These people are getting away with murder and it's not right. These guys, they're they're getting through, they're getting them into the court system, but then when they get into the court system, they're getting a slap on the wrist, uh, you know, a couple months probation or something like that. Nothing, no, no serious jail time or any, um, any charges like that are being brought up on these people. And officials say that leads to a greater problem. There is no mistaking the fact that there is a link between human to animal violence, people who commit the most heinous crimes to animals, and human on human violence. Assemblyman Brindisi's attempt to introduce similar legislation in 2012 did not progress, but animal advocates are hopeful that their continued fight will pay off. Reporting from Utica, I'm Kelly Cowan. Attorney Scott McNamara.